eyes on the throne, but if you're going to go for the king, then you better not miss. Oh, I've been looking forward to this game. Junior versus Simple, Fury versus Na'Vi. And we're right into the swing of things. Even though it's another Mirage, I'm still excited. <laughs> yeah, you know, you can't win them all, Harry, but I'm sure this is going to be a brawl. And, and like I said, the vetoes make a lot of sense considering the, you know, problems that Junior may face in terms of not having a lot of prac and also the communication. But we'll get more into that later because Art has been tapped out of the round towards the palace. And look at the space taken by Boomich, who was climbing right up in the back line. Now the B stack comes in for Na'Vi. They've read it well, and they've got a flank to confirm. Flash for, Perfe for Perfecto, but he will only wait for the second one. There it is, and he pops in with damage. Can't kill him, though. Knife's out. Junior finishes him, but he will get traded by Simple, so not living for long. And this B site is full of Na'Vi players. Yeah, they're all in. They're all rotating. Yuri doing what he can, but it's all on to him with low HP, back of the bomb site tagged up. And looking like a Na'Vi round is inevitable. Trapped in. No one can seem to kill him, but finally Simple will. And already the Simple v Junior tally standing at 1-0 and to Simple. Yes, indeed. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a banging game. And, and Na'Vi, like, they're, they're a team that you've really got to look out for right now, right? Because as good as Fury may be with this new addition, uh, Na'Vi are on such a win streak in, in terms of series. They're on a nine-match win streak uh, across this and other events. So, yeah, they are they are hot to trot right now. Bit waiting in the wings for the potential of Inferno to finish this series. But... For now, we have the standard, the classic five, and they're already taking space, taking face, and pushing the top of middle, simple flashing Boomich into position. It was dodged, and it's mostly Glocks, right? Very Furia-esque by with Junior dropping Art, the Galil. He was very appreciative of his in-game leader after the game the other day, where Art went absolutely ham against NIP. Junior was... Also looking good there as well, but Art catching the jumping perfecto and doubling up. It's one gun. It's only one gun, but he's done everything they need and more. Three kills into the B-bomb site, and that might just be the save. Surely, right? It's electronic and simple left up in the retake, and simple looks interested, but he's all the way over here at B alone. And even for him, this is too much of a task, too much of a tall order. Will just be this save call with Simple and Electronic trying to stay alive. Junior, don't do it. Don't walk into him. Oh, no. 2-0 to no. Simple. He beats him again. But still, Furia get the round. Yeah. Art providing the entries. You love wow. to see it. That's one of the most exciting things for me, right, Hugo? We say this a lot. Me and you covered a lot of NA last year. Yep. We got to really get behind Furia on their rise to glory. And then they came over to EU. And in the beginning, man, they were just kind of getting wrecked. Like, they yeah. were really getting pushed in wherever they tried to turn up. But as time's gone on, you know, with changes happening here and there as well along the way, we have seen this Furia squad start to find their footing in the realms of international competition again, right? They rose to the top in NA. They were unbeatable for a while. And now they're starting to find that same level of success here in Europe. Yeah, it's something, it's, it's growing pains that not just Fury have experienced, Liquid and Ichi as well in coming to Europe, right? Both also having pretty bad debuts in this region last year, near the, the latter half. Um, so, you know, that's something that's, that's gotten better over time. And obviously, you know, li Liquid would change his, but certainly looking successful. Hey, did you just catch that series? They took down Vitality. But right now, Navi Furia, and we're right into the action. The orbs are out, or at least one of them is on Junior on this T side in round number three, of all things. Oh, it's, uh, that's just a killer round, right? Getting three picks in such a quick space of time. Like, Navi don't want to save there. They know it's four Glocks, for Christ's sake, but... There's not much you can do when Art does something like that and, and hands out the guns like candy to his teammates. Deegs for Na'Vi as well on two. Very slow round. Peeling away from A is Vinny. They're going to be grouping in middle. One of the two rifles in this round is positioned over in the window on Simple. Art trying to open up over here towards the connector, and he does spot Electronic. The two of them exchange blows, but ultimately neither victor is found, and this B play is already read into by Na'Vi. They've got Simple here to supplement the B hold. 
Trying to put up some light resistance. Perfecto still in the apartments. Oh. Junior dropped by Simple again. That's 3-0 and oh now. Electronic over at the bench has also moved into position. And in the blink of an eye, it's only Yuri left in amongst the chaos. The quick rotate up through short side. Means that Na'Vi come in with a second round. They steal it back. The four spy wars are well and truly underway. Yeah, and the orb gets picked up as well, right? That's a worst case scenario. That's why you often don't want to be buying the orb so early in the game to, to give it over when these forces are so prevalent. Art's brought up another one, though. Or at least someone has for him. That was Yuri. One thing Fury great at is just like having this big one team bank, you know, it, it's not, it's not, oh, this is my money, this is your money. It's like, this is our money and they share it, they spread it and they set our art, art up in a lot of these rounds to wield his weapon of choice as we've already seen in just four rounds of gameplay. That's right. Comrade Art over here in middle. <laughs> not mine, it's ours. And he's got that AWP. Not going to put it to good use. Staring over towards the short side, flashed off the angle. Not able to react in time, so a player does manage to get across in to window. Or oh, Ladder, rather. Flamey posted up there with the MP9. The peak from Electronic is silenced by Art's AWP. Can Art deliver on the goods again? Last time they entrusted him with this, it put Furia onto a winner. This time around, it's opened up, and he's trying to find a little bit more. A play on the cards. Boomich all the way back in CT. But Fury are moving in for the kill. Boomich needs to put on a bit of a showing here. And there's almost the double. Yuri still alive. Simple's nailed a shot onto Vinny, and he's still reigning in death from afar. Flamey will be there to deny that bomb plant. And suddenly, Art's AWP is really starting to feel the pressure. Junior holding for a CT swing that just oh, isn't no. getting given to him. Art tries to jump down for the kill. But Na'Vi is showing a great deal of restraint. The bomb now goes down. Art's quick on the trigger. No. And the double up is in. Art's on for the ace. And there is a reason that you give this guy the big guns in these rounds. Junior now left up in the 1v1. And he's got to finish what Art so meticulously started with that AWP. Junior tucked in at the firebox, spotted by Flame. He doesn't have armor behind, to hide behind. So he's got to nail this shot. And he will close it out for Furia. Two to two. The Four Spy works again, <laughs> and it's Art putting up numbers, instilling that belief in Furia that anything is possible. Oh, uh, Na'Vi are going to regret giving him the plant there. Junior wasn't even covering as well. He tucks back behind the boxes when Art plants on, on CT side triple. Like, he makes that hop off of triple, grabs the box, sticks it. Na'Vi go, yeah, doubt that's a stick. And they know the orbs in play as well. They don't want to swing into it. Art calls the bluff. He gets the plant. He kills two more with wish shots from Na'Vi. And Junior, that looked like a done round with Flamey jumping and spraying, but he's able to spam the Deagle just enough. Oh, my goodness. Harry, we're four rounds in. This is absolutely crazy. Give me more. Directly into my bloodstream, please. Navi Furia and Navi are broke now. This is where Furia should, and I say should very tenuously, take the lead and start to run away with rounds until Navi get, you know, another big buy in their pocket. But, of course, they're going to give it a look in. You've got no reason not to invest in this position. So Na'Vi going big with the pistols. Some nades as well collected. Junior on the AWP this time around. A fast mid to be. Once again, Na'Vi seemingly have the read. They send Simple around towards this site early on. But it's still only too strong. Oh. Simple's Deagle. Nails the first. Oh, oh, and a second. Simple. Dear, oh dear. He's made matters more complicated now for Furia than they were hoping for. Suddenly, Na'Vi are very interested in going for this retake. The site, while it has been given over, Bomb's not down yet. And Art exposes himself to the short peak. The number's starting to dwindle. It's Keiserato and Junior left alive for the Furia T side. That bomb still hasn't been planted yet. Finally, the numbers are getting plugged in. Simple took this challenge to his throne personally. Finally, Junior will come in with his first kill onto Simple in this game, and that leaves it in, in a two-on-two. 
in case the Rato side by side trying to edge this one across the line for Furia. AK in the hands of Electronic from short. That's from Art's dead body. And it's over Case Serato's dead body. Now Junior last up. Missed shot from Electronic, but he does correct in time. And the defuse is in. The force by Wars showing no signs of slowing down as Na'Vi come in with a third. Oh, Junior and Electro uh, Junior and Art versus Simple and Electronic who win that round with two five kills between the two. Simple, look at these D shots again. No one even clearing him and Electronic even to win that 1v1 out. Oh my, Junior provides so much room for Case Arts with that smoke towards short that lets him move after the bomb plant, but Electronic still, like you said, recovering on that spray. And Na'Vi, I said should, and I don't even know why I said it. Furious should have won that round, but Na'Vi absolutely yoink it right back. Simple with the AWP again. They're just swapping it between rounds, back and forth and back again. Furia on another force. Why wouldn't you? Double AK with a scout on Junior. Deeg's out and about. And who even knows who should win this round? Na'Vi may be favorites, but Furia... I'm not scared of anyone, and that is what makes this team so damn exciting. Triple B early, but they can see simple playing mobile, and that's what you want from him, moving all around the map. Back towards the ticket as Furia come out through mid, top and bottom at the same time. Even run boosting the scout by the looks of things, and no one here to stop them, right? Na'Vi with that triple B had conceded mid as a result. Electronic might be flashed in for a bit of a peek here. Could just wait for the boost instead. Simple. Needs to spot Con. But it's been smoked off and Furia move up into A. Oh, they're going through the smoke. They're barreling in. Electronic, while well, he does hold for two, weapons now retrieved. Oh, it might continue. It might be a oh. fury around unless Boomich can hold the line. He has opened up with the first, but there's more where that came from. <laughs> more to worry about. They fake him out with the scout throw. Flamey's peak from CT is in with another. And it's Junior asked to step up and clutch again versus Na'Vi. This time, looking to get it over the line. One for one in these clutch attempts to wins. Time only got 10 seconds. Does have the bomb but no safe space to get it planted in. There's the peak from CT, oh. and at this point, Junior needs the kills. They've played with their food, and this should be the round locked in while Junior gets away with the AK. That is the only saving grace there for Fury at Na'Vi. They're the team to win two in a row. Oh, what a warrior. He throws his scout over Tetris to distract Boomage, and it works. I mean, that's like, peaks default. that's like a borderline, you know, attempt at the recreation of the, uh, the simple yeah. AWP through the Dust2 window. That's crazy. It works, right? It all, like, fake flashes, fake, fake flashes get people, you know, throwing decoys and, and throwing your pistol. It, you know, it's, it's just a tiny little distraction from where you should be looking. Your eyes look at it, they realize what it is, but by that point, you're already dead to Case Serato on default. <laughs> and the Force by Wars, Harry, well, they do continue. I mean, with Junior saving, right? You understand where they've gone for it. This is one that makes a lot of sense. Fury are trying to keep this pressure up. I'll spill out into the top of mid, but it's another slow crawl early on. Na'Vi not offering anything up. Good show of restraint so far. Yeah, it, it restraint being the keyword, especially in that last round with Flamey and Spawn, right? He just needs to put up enough pressure, but not die. If he dies, Junior can plant. If he plays too safe, Junior can plant. And so he finds that perfect balance of, of causing a distraction to weigh down the clock. In through the smoke, Vinny runs, and now Furia explode into the A site. Boomish is going to be drawing in attention, but hiding at the back of the site is simple. He is the fly in the ointment. He is the last player you would expect here, and Vinny's cleared out another. They are not going to be ready for this one. Simple, can he stop the plant? It is not for him. He's got to go around, moving through. There it is, and double up for Simple, causing chaos inside of A, swinging for a third. Art trades and looks to spray with the Galil, but it's Perfecto perfecting his shots for two as well. Oh, Junior, someone needs to call it. He's CT. It's the kill feed, and no one tells him. Knowing who you die from is so important. Perfecto gets two kills. Electronic swings, and Junior's expecting jungle. No one tells him Perfecto is the player still ticket. That's something that, you know, definitely comes down to communication, and those are the things that we know are going to be struggling inside of the Furia camp.
Yeah, I mean, that round more than ever, right, is a very good showcase of these communication problems that we talk about. You know, you can't blame Junior there. He's, he's tunnel visioned on trying to win the round. He's trying to think he's got the read. Force back in for R as he's dropped an AK. Yeah. It doesn't find anything from it. And actually, oh, okay, Kesarato's oh, yeah. retrieved that MP9. <laughs> Boobis just sees it disappear in his feet and he knows what to expect. Man, that's such a shame. I, yeah. You know, I didn't think we would get such a clear and present display of some of the, the communication problems that might be expected from Furia. Uh, yeah, I don't I'm... know how Junior glocks Flamey out of the round. There's a little achievement for you. He is looking ferocious. Yeah, I, I really don't know how that happens because it feels like, you know, regardless of like language, just shouting CT is one thing. Maybe maybe Furia was so, you know, caught up in the moment that even they didn't realize. But, you know, two key details. One, different guns on Electronic and Perfecto. And, and two, obviously, just kill feed reading. Perfecto kills two, Electronic dies, where's Perfecto? Same spot he's always been. It's only been three seconds. So, yeah, that's that's an awkward one. Don't get me wrong, but it's not the end of the world. Six to two, and the AWP is out for Junior again. Simple doesn't have his. It's been very back and forth. Money has been a commodity that's not been too present for Na'Vi, but finally they've got a, a full buy with all the trimmings. Nades intact. Fast out mid for R. Come to expect it. Ooh, ho, ho, look at him dodging to the Matrix. Just stopping the bullets in their tracks. They go right by him. And he's already up cap, but he won't commit because Furia have contacted out A. Junior is waiting for the swing on stairs, but there's no one here. No one even looking. The Molly traps electronic. Oh, they don't know he's here, though. They have to clear this corner. So does he. Vinny is now looking at the window, locking in that rotation. And electronic doesn't even know to calm that over. He tries to kill someone deep, and Vinny pops out close. Peekaboo. Man down for Na'Vi, and the bomb getting planted. Yeah, weird spot to be in. You have so little control over towards this A bomb site. A lot of teams might even be weighing up the save option here, given how much real estate fury you have. What do Na'Vi want to do? Simple is looking fired up to begin this game, but Junior takes Boomich out of the round. That man advantage tipping the scales even further in favor of Furia. And that there is one that Na'Vi decide has gone too far. and They will just commit to the save, giving a third round over. Oh, if this is a sign of things to come, yeah. we have got a blinder of a series on our hands. I don't think there was ever a question about that, right? So back and forth. And no round is unwinnable in a game like this, right? As we've already seen from, from the second round of this map, where Art, with a glill and four glocks, leads his team to B. Tactical timeout called in for Na'Vi. They don't want to let Furia use this momentum and the advantage in terms of the money to springboard themselves into a great position. They're keen to put a stop to this here and now. They're throwing everything they've got against the problem. I was hoping we could bring up the scoreboard. Look at it, man. Dynamic duos on either side, yeah. right? Art and Junior, neck and neck with one another. And same can be said for Simple and Electronic. There's a reason we tout these guys so highly, and right now I'm glad everyone's stepping up to the plate and proving it. Map number one, Furious pick, leading behind, but... Certainly been stealing rounds they shouldn't. Both teams have fast. Out into middle, window smoke is in, simple. Oh, they're lining up boosts. They're going to throw a player into ladder very quickly. Is Art ready? Again, trying to dodge the spray. He does dodge half, but simple's here, and they're not ready for it. Lovely stuff. Only one, though. Uh, damage done. Perfecto's pushed out of B. He's going to smoke the molly to draw the attention as Flamey sets him up with a flash to peek short. No one is in yet, though. Furia have called a pause. They've stopped. Yeah, right now they're hoping that Junior can catch someone in rotation or just shuffling around over at this A-bomb site. Anything to put the seed of doubt in Na'Vi's mind to not just stack in B, which is where Fury are looking to end up. A slowdown might be enough, and anything else that Junior can get on this orb is a benefit. There's that kill. 
Now Navi is starting to doubt. Now they're starting to reconsider. Also, it reopens Furia's options in a round like this. You no longer have to commit to the B play, and so they won't. Down through the connector they go. Electronic, the man to try and stand between them all. And this A bomb site. Back of CT, but Junior is homed in. They're closing the gap piece by piece. They approach this position. There are rotations already moving in for Na'Vi. Bomb plant looking to come through. Junior drops that over to Yuri in the site, oh. but he's caught repositioning. That bomb can't go down now. This is a big problem for Fury. They've got to bail themselves out because inside of this site, Na'Vi are moving in for the kill. Vinny has just bailed Yuri out. And so he's left to Flamey. Oh, oh, the peak is in. And Fury, a stellar recovery to find that one from losing players to Electronic Abumich in CT to the instant recovery from the guys still left alive. And Vinny definitely deserves a shout out there. Saves Yuri's life as he runs out of ammo inside of A. Yeah. Boomish gets nervous as well. That's the undoing for Na'Vi, right? After about 30 seconds of just nothing, no movement, no info, you know, Na'Vi have enough. Boomish goes, I need something. I need I need knowledge. And he peeks out in connector, and that just gives Junior the pick back into A. It's exactly what Fury have been waiting for all round long. And they find another. Pistols on Na'Vi. Finally, it's the first team to call the bluff, call the eco, and stop this non-stop investing. Pistols and nothing more. And so Furia have been given a path into a very good T side right now. Unless, obviously, Na'Vi win this round, which, you know, at this point, I don't even want to say is impossible, but unlikely. Boomich crouched, his head avoided. Oh, you can see it. There it is. Vinny steals the kill. And just splitting this A side. I mean, there's no defense. There's only electronic. Everyone else is either window or B. So the flash is deep. Electronic. Oh, he fires early. He sees the barrel and they clear him. He even got a dink. That was probably his. Otherwise, okay. Simple through the smoke and Perfecto in the meantime finds a one for one. It's not like Navi are in a good position, but they've salvaged something. A chance with these Deagles to get back into the A site. Cover needs to come through and Vinny providing that yet again for his teammates, even closing the round in doing so. Fury up to five and Na'Vi, they concede one round, but they'll be coming back in with a bye. And Boomich, I hope, will drop simple that orb. Yes, he does. Yeah, I mean, it's one of the things, right? Like you say, how like finally one of the teams take, takes a proper eco. I think it makes a lot of sense that it's Na'Vi in that boat. Not only are they CT side, but Furia, they're the kind of team that laugh in the face of danger, you know? They don't care if it's an irresponsible decision. They'll find a way to make it work. And that's part of the, the majesty of this Furia team. Now we see this simple V-Junior AWP battle, a B play on the cards. Now, usually Na'Vi have been very, very good at reading into these B plays. Simple has often been on rotation before Furia have even got out of the apartment. This round, though, he is a long way away, all the way back in CT spawn. So instead, we're looking at Flamey and Perfecto to try and hold B down. Furia moving in. Easy does it on the approach. Finally, they push through this apartment smoke and they make their presence known. Set up over in the market is Electronic. He's good for the first. Now into this deadly crossfire between Short and Jail. Perfecto loses his teammate Short side, but continues to find kills, protecting this B bomb site and denying this take. Yeah, the hesitation, right? The, the waiting in apps. It gives Electronic time to rotate, even if it's not simple, who's still sat on CT. And now going back to the right position, well, that third man at least baits him into the crossfire. Electronic's not done. He drops the bomb, and Boomish swings out from default at the right time as well. Far more patient than the past. RV on to seven. And there's a result of why they echoed the previous, right? They, they have the faith in the rifle rounds. They've just not really had the chance to run the rifle rounds with Furia constantly buying back in. So Na'Vi, they take one breather and they come back in with a seventh. Double up T side for Furia. You know, in NA, Harry, we were seeing in games where Furia would struggle on Mirage specifically, they would be pulling out the triple orb at, time, at times. Obviously, that was with Henny as well as Caserato taking it. And while still an option with Caserato, double up T side is a bold move. But if there were any team to make it work, 
Act to A, they go. It's going to be a full execute here for Furia. And with those double orbs, running a smoke X sack is going to hamstring you in clearing a lot of these close positions that Navi could be in, such as Palace, Boomich, dealing with Vinny. And now you know, you can't send an orb in there to try and find Boomich. It's got to be a rifle if you want to clear that position out, and Furia don't even decide to do so. They just bail. Yeah, this, this round has gone from bad to worse for Furia, and the players on B haven't faltered either. Two still in the sight. So you've got to hope that at this point, Na'Vi are giving you picks in mid, but they are not. Yeah, Na'Vi are very, very good at not giving away more than they have to, right? They'll work really hard to get that opening kill, and then once they've got it, you can't find them. They'll just turtle down. They'll play in these bomb sites and really minimize a lot of the risks that they take, especially versus a team like Furia. And so this... this cold, slow play out of Na'Vi. Doing anything to avoid giving over a four-on-four four is forcing Furia into a beep commitment. Oh. Simple wins his fight over Arp. So one of these orbs removed from the round. Flamey spots these Palace players as well. And the short play has been yeah. dismantled by Simple single-handedly. The rest of the gang can't get out of the apartments. And for Junior, saving is the only option left. It's a flawless round for Na'Vi. There's still no guarantee yet that Junior even survives with this AWP because up through top mid, Boomich ready to try and take it away. Oh, and there he is with the swing. The death comes after the clock runs out. And so Furia might be goaded into another force by oh, here. Who would have thought it? Yeah, you could see Boomich even waiting the clock out before he even went for the peak. He knew uh, it was cool that he, he hits the scope, rather, uh, coming in from top mid. And so he knew exactly where Junior had to be. Just swings him after the clock. And five alive for Na'Vi, most importantly. They begin to build their bank as well as take away Furious Junior just with a deke. Art does have that hero AK again, but the nade is chunky. And there's more where that came from. Boom, goes Junior out of the round to Flamey. Art does to get the trade, but simple missing a shot. And again, Art shows us that all you need is one weapon. And suddenly Furia have the advantage. They may be low, they may be underarmed, but scavenging guns left, right, and center and even boosting into the window. That's the thing about Fury, they're scrappy. They make these rounds work even when they shouldn't. And so for Na'Vi now, playing this sound Counter-Strike, where they're just trying to hang back, they need to hold on. Boomich needs to deliver from this close angle. He sees the barrel, and there's only one for it. It's going to fall to perfecto. This guy is often good in these clutch scenarios when it becomes you know, a moment for him to steal away, a moment where it's just Perfecto versus the world. This is where you can get a lot of mileage out of him, but he's read this wrong. Furia have changed their course up through short and into an empty B bomb site. The realization gonna dawn on Perfecto a little too late. Now the question becomes, does he even wanna give this a go? The money's there for Na'Vi regardless. He can look to go for this one, but he decides against it. He plays the long game. Yeah, hard call to have to make, right? But he knows they're not going to give him any picks back in. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. For a second, you think. But he's wasted so much time with the, the rotation at that point that it was done. He's playing for exits. And, you know, if someone comes apartments, there's more likely uh, free kills for Perfecto. With very little chance of getting away for Furia. But... Why would they exit into unknown territory? Running around through Cat and Market, they guarantee at least one saved weapon. And in fact, in this case, both saved weapons. I joke, Yuri dies in apartments, in markets. It was a short plant, not a default plant. Ooh. It would have survived if it was default. That's you, actually that's actually pretty crippling as well. Yeah. Like, you you wanted those two weapons saved. Vinny also went from three to two health. Yeah, I was so worried they were nervous. both going to die. Like, that would have yeah. been a disaster. They weren't even getting challenged. Right. You can survive in back market on default plant, but it wasn't default. So that is, that is an awful shame. But uh, yeah, for Fury, hey, if there were any team to not care about, you know, not having everything they need, it is this team. And they can buy full, they just don't have the util on Yuri. Getting quick out mid is R, but Boomish is ahead of the smoke and he's going to be able to deal with it. Fast out the ramp now, it's just getting puggy, it's getting loose, it's getting dangerous. And Na'Vi are punishing every player in every position. Bomb dropped back a ramp, two on four for the end of the half, and Na'Vi are making it look easy. Junior going up into Palace, but up against him on the other side is Simple with that AWP. 
It's the play for Junior. He's waiting for that smoke to fade. <laughs> Simple's getting up close and personal Crazy. with his AWP. He's taking this vendetta ah. personally. Ah. He's going up. He's looking <laughs> for Junior. Simple's the only player oh. I, I, that actually regularly plays Balk with an orb. But it might punish him. Junior's, Junior's, not, Junior's not checking. They're right next to each other. Oh. Junior, your idol is in front of you, and he's dealt with Keiserato right under your nose and then gets out of there. Junior's kicking himself. He could have had that. He could have had that one in the bag. And now it's just him alive in a 1v4 again. Another clutch falling onto the shoulders of Junior. And this weight might be far too much for him to bear. 35 seconds left. The bomb dropped back at T-Ramp and under Na'Vi control. And they're just looking to silence him out of the round, out of the game. It's Na'Vi up onto nine. They sport that lead. Furia just behind with six. And if this first half is anything to go by, this could be one hell of a series. There's a second half coming up in just a moment. Simple said earlier this week, Flamey, that the team feels even stronger than they did last year, which is when you won IM Katowice. Do you agree with that point? Uh, I think yes, because uh, we did a lot of work last year and uh, in the beginning of this year we won the big tournament and we felt that our work was like not for nothing, you know, for, we did this and uh, we understand that if we work more we will play better and I think right now we're playing better and better from tournaments to tournament. You you really are. What did you work on? Uh, first of all, we were working like a lot of our individual mistakes, like why we did this mistake, why what what we need to do to escape this mistake and uh, stuff like this. And uh, the next thing is like we did a lot of uh, like tactic uh, edition i don't know what say, how, how to say this but like changes in our tactics to like um, enemies be not ready for us yeah something like this and the last part is like is uh, our communication i think it's uh, very important because we when we communicate good we play good and that's uh, really important stuff for, for us boomit was incredible in the game against bp what is he like as a teammate I think that he's one of the best teammates you can get because uh, he's a game leader who can frag. He's a very nice uh, guy in real life. And I don't know, he's uh, such a person who gives a lot of power to you and energy. So he motivates the whole team to play better. And like he cheers for all team. He only, he believes in every teammate. And I think that that's what he what's doing his him one of the best like players and in game leaders i have to say to people watching this take that with a pinch of salt because boomer just sat right next to flamey but i i think the love here is real <laughs> Furious forces often frighten their foes, but right now, Na'Vi are holding strong in the face of adversity. 9-6 at the halftime, and despite some absolutely crazy rounds, Na'Vi, they float above just that little bit. A pistol could make them really get out of control, though. As so a Fury needs to have their wits about them moving into the second half of their map pick, most importantly. Keeping it loosey-goosey with a North American in a Brazilian team. 
Not the first time we've seen it, but maybe the most successful rendition of it. We'll have to see. Only time will tell as Furia keep it up on Mirage. Yeah, now pistol wins in this series are an interesting one because we know that both teams are more than happy to go for these hero buys, these force buy wars. We saw enough of it in that first half. Let's see if Fury are able to hit the ground running here and now. K Serato, jump peek in the window. Jazz just missed the timing on Perfecto and Flamey getting out through the lower tunnels. Navi have seized this mid control. And Vinny is dropped by Simple wow. on that P250. A far short play on the cards for Boomich. He's deep in towards this B bomb site, but he fakes them out, jumping back. And he has drawn players towards B, made them interested in it. Na'Vi still set up with a player in Con and one in Palace. This looked like it was destined to go towards that A bomb site with this Palace, palace Lurk from Electronic. Ooh. And Boomich is still keeping Furia interested in B. Now they spot a player in window. Now they see this con split. And it dawns on Furia a little too late. But this is the A commitment for Junior and Yuri. They're left in a very unlikely two on four with a bomb plant down for Na'Vi. Yeah, perfecto. I have no idea how he wins his fight uh, into the window as well. Like, that's unreal. He gets, you know, put, put, sorry, pushed in the corner and somehow just spams down his opponent. Even if he didn't, Flamey was quick to clear it from Connector anyway. And yeah, Fury just saved. They just get away with their armor. Not really much else they can do in that position with Murder Hole being controlled and the bomb being planted. Very open for multiple positions. Na'Vi, no way in hell they lose that round. So they get out with a victory. Simple with the opener. And even though Art drops him in the bomb, getting all the info pretty early for Furia, it's still a Na'Vi round. And, you know, this is what I said, like, 9-6 is fine, but if you lose the pistol and Na'Vi convert, you know, you're in hot water. Luckily, if there's one team that loves to get in the way of conversions, it is Furia. And so we'll see if they buy around this saved armor. Yeah, the thing that is problematic, though, is like CT forces are always a lot harder to work with than these T-side force buys where, you know, even a bomb plant gives you that extra cash injection to make the force buy really, you know, something to behold. Instead, we've got a Zeus on R. Now, Zeus, he's someone who's had his fair share of plays within RV. This time, he's trying to turn against them, being brought out in this eco round for Fury. Yeah, and it's the most standard eco round that anyone ever plays on CC Mirage, which is 5B. You know, don't break the window. Maybe even don't break the vent, so Na'Vi don't flank us. But yeah, it's it's a pretty predictable one, and I think Na'Vi might just read into it, especially if they, they send one of these MAC-10s on Flamey just anywhere. You know, A, he can clear it. B, he can confirm they're stacked. So, you know, that's the safe way of doing it. Miss Window Smoke, Flamey. We're watching you. Don't worry, Electronic can patch that hole if he needs, but it's actually towards Connector, and I say all this, Na'Vi are going to walk right into the B-stack, aren't they? Dear, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. There's a double boost to Cat as well with P250s galore. Oh my god, they are walking in towards B though, aren't they? Like, yeah, yeah, let's see. Maybe they kill them all. There's, you know, not really much to play with. R gets mollied, he has to move. He gets double mollied as well from one fire into another. But still, this cat boost is in play. Yeah, but at this point, right, you've dealt with so many players in B, you're almost expecting the stack. And so they do. 11 on the you. board for Na'Vi. Now the money built up for the investment from Furia, but it really is hitting a kind of worrying time period here where you need to have this buy find something or else Na'Vi can just run away with this game. You won't have an AWP in play either. Na'Vi aren't going to have one of their own. So now's the time to play catch up if you're Furia. Yeah, and not an easy time to do it either. Oh, Vinny catching electronic switching weapons. He wasn't ready for simple though, who's already deep in. And so it will be traded. Navi fine with that. Got Flamey in Sandwich. Yuri giving away his position as Simple gets that info for Flamey to make a move happen. He's got a molly under though. No one else left inside of A. It's a CT player and a con player for Furia, just keeping their eyes on the prize. But a smoke could render two of these three players useless watching A. HEN 
Nothing notable. Perfecto hunting. There's a con smoke. Caserato does some damage and he's looking to finish the job. He does. Bomb planted, but the retake is on for Furia. They're in a great position now. Yeah, Boomich and Simple in a pretty rough spot here. Simple trapped inside of the bomb site. Spam raining over. Flash. Ooh, tag, but it is the ding. Not much damage done, and the flash sets up Boomich. Now he's got to win it all alone. Thrust into the 1v3, and Yuri is quick on the trigger. Hits that sitter there. And Fury are on to seven. I didn't catch who it was. Who dealt with Simple, Hugo? Did you catch that? Uh, don't know, mate. I didn't see if it was Junior or not. I'm trying oh, to keep up with it. You can just look at the end, Harry. You can just look at the end. Don't think it was. Either way. Retake one by Furia. Case Rogers just kind of mops him up, coming back in. It was Junior, Harry. Look at the replay. Nice. AK's out still, though. We don't have the AWP in play in this second half. It came out very early in the first, in round three, to be exact. But for now, keeping it safe. Na'Vi going back to middle. Grenades looked good, but they didn't do too much. Just the trade of Util right now going about their business. Junior's in Palace again. We've had so many players pushed in into this map on both sides. Electronic gets up connector. Two players on the other side of the smoke, though. Bomb is far away, so Na'Vi need to go back and pick that up before they commit. Oh, ooh, the Shadow gave Electronic a time to react, but the crouch peak, he was aiming too high, and so his tap misses. And they don't even know about Junior. Flamey is clearing things cautiously. But there's so many spots to check. Can he hit the shot? Whoop. No, Junior continues to spray. And a five on three again. Fury take heavy advantages once more. Last time was a four on two. No problem in converting. This should be similar. Yeah, there is this con lurk that can look to come in from Perfecto, but he needs to hit a good timing. If he wants to find the results needed to get Na'Vi out of this, and instead Yuri sees it early. Numbers really starting to dwindle now. Boomich out through the ramp. First man in, first man down. And it's simple with 15 seconds left. Not a clutch. Even he can deliver here. He's got to fade away and concede this one over to Furia. Left without any hope in the world to picking this one up. Eight now on the board for this Furia CT side. And I think one of the things that has been so impressive about Fury in terms of them adjusting to their opponents internationally is the same kind of cheeky things that they got away with over in NA just didn't work across the pond. And now we see them, you know, looking very, very comfortable playing like a reserve style of Counter-Strike, still forcing Na'Vi into their utility, into these peaks that, that don't favor them necessarily. And then you have that like signature Fury cheeky, Fury of cheekiness with like the four spies, the hero weapons. It just looks like a much more complete kind of strap book from Fury that everyone started to get more comfortable with. Oh, simple. Oh, he needs to do everything here. Got a spotter coming out the ramp with that AK. We had Art win one of these rounds, but I gotta say, Fury are far more armed than Navi were in that same position. Four AKs and an A1S. Here comes Simple. Back with a second chance. One player tucked on the balcony, another on default. Junior drawing them in on an off angle. Simple with the check, headshot, but still gets the kill. Art gives away his position, but can he just stay alive under the balcony here? Calling for flashes, calling for anything he swings, and Perfecto wins that fight. Simple so low, he may as well stick with his gun, though, with that precision. Already leaving the bomb site though. Oh, this is naughty. They have two pistols that just need to stay alive right now. But look at the read for Yuri. He's already doubting himself. That could be a problem, however. They're getting flanked by Electronic. K Serato has his eyes on the hole, and he should have this one dead to right. Still Perfecto's trapped in A. Maybe the bomb even comes back to this side of the map, considering how these rotations have come through. 25 on the clock. Perfecto with a lot to clear, and surely he doesn't get this headshot here, Vinny. 
just tucked in in wait. Oh, he moves out. And he wins the fight. Thank goodness. Boomish faking B and Simple getting desperate for a plant. But I don't know if they can really allow this one. They could just chase him down. Oh, they give him the respect. They let him get the bomb down. Shouldn't be able to get much more than this. He's so low after all. Oh, Simple's my. been able to get all the way back to ramp. They've given him a lot of room to work with. He goes back in with the aggression oh, and they're my. not ready for it. Simple. Oh, cut short by Vinny. He started to feel a little bit worried there as he was really throwing himself into every single gunfight. But I think regardless of that, Na'Vi are happy with a bomb plant in a round like that. They really are. The money was, was very weird for Na'Vi as a result of the save, and they've dug themselves out of that hole at least. Yeah, you can just see simple. Every time he gets spotted, he's changing his position. He knows he's so low. One bullet is is a done round. So it's all about catching your opponents, you know, off guard. They're, them calling, oh, he's here, and he's not there. So he tries to maneuver around the site, but only so much room he can get given. Double orp out. We saw it on the T side. Now we get the second half as well. Junior flashed out a connector, though. Art's taken his AWP towards the short side. Yuri anchoring A, and they're back for it. Na'Vi aren't waiting around. They just go right through the ramp with that flash as well. Molly under, and Yuri caught changing weapons. He doesn't get punished, but the info is now there for Na'Vi on where this player sits. Mollied off. Our oh, Na'Vi stuck behind the ramp, but Perfecto with a pick coming in from under. Yeah, now they know about this con lurk, so these players need someone to be keeping an eye on Connector. The junior mollied out of the window. He's got to reposition. Oh. Suddenly, Art feels like he's forced to take a fight in amongst all the pressure. With Connector left wide open, Yuri's got to watch so many angles at once. And oh. Na'Vi even read this lower flank from Keiserato. It's Junior up against the world. Back here in CT. With Na'Vi tucking tail and running back towards that B-bomb site. They get that 12th round. And it all crumbles for Furia. This is a game of reads, though, man. Like in yeah. that in that round prior to last, where Simple had the hero AK, Furia rotate one step ahead, and that ultimately saves the round for them. Well, in that round there, Na'Vi have the read on this lower tunnel's flank. They know that that's putting pressure on R over on the stairs, so they anticipate that peak. This is a very exciting game of CS. And it's still so close, only a matter of rounds between these two teams. It's this point in the game that starts to matter a hell of a lot. Yeah, more CS on the B stream. G2 versus EG as well. Definitely worth checking out, judging by the quick look at that one. Both our games going the distance by the looks of things. If you're Na'Vi, you know that you can dodge any danger of Furia, like grinding this out to a victory by winning a round like this one right now, where Fury have all in it up against 12. Because their money's wiped out. And so this, this is like a two for one round if you're able to pick it up. Oh, he's braving the AK spray after making the cat jump, trying to do anything to turn this to Furia's advantage early on. B is free. It's only Keserato. He's going to drop his smoke, but he's not got a weapon for the job. They're going to chase him down. Perfecto going through with his knife out. Keserato has now been given an upgrade with no trade. They've really oh, pulled oh. this one up. Keserato has just torn them apart. Bomb dropped, and he should have never been able to hold on to that bomb site alone. He had no teammates, and now he's surrounded by them. My, oh, my. Arming Keserato was your biggest mistake, Na'Vi. Nade from Simple could finish him. But nothing being offered up. Yeah, Vinny's even holding the fullback, so it's not like Simple is a clear route to go and hold on to this AK. He might just take it forward, like take the fight to Furia, waiting around. His brain whirring, trying to figure out if there is a way back into this or if it is too far gone. Oh. <laughs> oh, the jump peak. That has baited the nade out, but it lands a little short of finding Keserato over at the bench. We're simple not getting offered anything here, Lex. Sometimes the only way to win is not to play. He backs out, attempting to hold on to the AK. As mentioned, Vinny was holding for this exact contingency in the back line, now spotting simple.
You don't want to die after time here, so tuck in. Give him five alive. Let him take the money. That, that is exactly what you needed from Keiserato there, yeah. though. Like, as mentioned, that was a make or break round for Furia. That essentially decides, do Na'Vi just waltz away with this, with this map? Or do Furia keep fighting with a great chance for success? Yeah, that, like Perfecto just goes through the smoke there with no no teamwork, no trade, nothing. And Kesarat is given not just that kill, but the time to swap weapons, re peek back in. And Navi aren't even trying to punish him for that. So, yeah, that's a, a big problem. Perfecto could have just cleared him standard, gone around the site, but probably didn't want to be open to catwalk. However, there was just no one there to stop him at that point. It's a very weird game now with Furia taking the reins right back. Na'Vi, you can see slowing down on this T side, 12 to 10. Simple dropping a gun over and they're trying to spread their cash. But double orb still continues. And we've not seen this T side orb yet really for Na'Vi as well. That's something worth noting. Right, so Fury are running wild with two AWPs all over the map, but Simple's not had the, the money nor the weapon to really stop it. I think need to start winning gun rounds if they want either of those options. Hot's lower. Not what you'd expect if you're Boomich, but he's being cautious. Yeah, with Perfecto also here to join in with the swing, it does make this lower tunnels play that much more scary. Oh, while well, he could have picked up the man advantage there, I think the double swing would have just put that immediately back into a four on four. So he's done well to get out of there. Now going back, no. and it's almost the collateral, the USP dink, but doesn't finish the job. Junior, meanwhile, will pick up Simple on his entry out through the ramp. Dropping the bomb in the process as well. And setting Furia up for round number 11. Flamey toppled. Vinny in with a second peak. And it's all left onto Electronic. His hope dwindling again. These slow A plays are not doing right by Na'Vi. Yeah. And that will have Furia closing the gap even more. Yeah, so many of these rounds have just come down to these like impossible one on fours, one on fives for for electronic and simple mainly, right? Often it's been simple, less left, last alive. This time he decides, I don't want to be sitting around now in unwinnable rounds. I want to be going in first, and he does, but he gets immediately orbed by Junior. That's why you know we don't often have simple just running straight in because so many of these rounds you're just going to lose your first player inherently to one of these two AWPs. There's so many spots for them to play. And Na'Vi are having a really tough time of even gaining ground in this A bomb site. And I mean, we've already seen what happens when they go B. So right now, this this is a really tough spot for Na'Vi on the T side. Furia have the answers to every question being posed. One up here. Other was not saved. And fast to be approached was simple, but double Molotov, no rush today. Yeah, that immediate dink coming through from top mid. Through the wall, though, so does next to no damage. That nade doesn't actually finish Boomich off. He's made of sterner stuff, still alive down here in the connector. Another slow round, this time creeping through middle from Na'Vi, hoping they can catch Vinny at short, and Electronic will blindside him. Uh-oh, now they're spilling out into mid. Now they're up in the window. Look at the pace on Boomich. You've never seen him move like this before. He's deep within T-spawn. He's pulling an art. Wrapping around in through the back line. Furia, oh, they see him. Junior spots it out. And we're back into even odds. Junior trying to be the difference maker, trying to be the one to keep it all alive. For Furia has shut down this eco round that was getting out of hand. Yeah, picking simple as well from ticket. Electronics found a way into B. Bomb needs to get to him, though. It's a long way away. Flamey, this is unfortunately the right uh, the right play. He would have loved to use his window position, but he needs to get this bomb in the sight, and it's such a far, uh, such a 
long rotation rather, through apartments. Case Rato spots an electronic getting on the car, so he knows the B has been lost, but with the bomb plant not down yet, they're wondering, well, where is this package? Where is it coming from? Junior picking electronic and stopping the bomb from even making it out apps. That's why, you know, that, that's the awkwardness of the long rotate for Flamey, right? Look how long it takes him to get from window, back up B apps into the site of Fury are already there. Full force. Only an eco for Na'Vi, but again, a position that they certainly could have converted with a four on three and control of their opponent's spawn. A second's difference would have meant Boomish was tucked in CT and maybe he would have had the drop on Junior. But this guy is showing up in the last few rounds on the CT sided orb and now he's overtaking Art as well. I mean, there's that old saying, right? Work till your idols become your rivals. And that's how Junior must be feeling right now. Always looked up to a guy like Simple. Now he gets to play up against him. Now he's topping the charts in a matchup against him on the other side, tying the game up in an eco round that looked like it was getting out of hand. He gives them round number 12. The reinvestment comes through for Na'Vi. And this time we even have the AWP in Simple's hands. Yeah, it's about time. We've, we've had flat rifles for Na'Vi in so many T-side rounds, right? Simple's had enough of, of you know, being stuck in one-on-fours. He wants to put this orb to good use and try and find opening kills. Setting towards B quick. He knows that Fury like to jump apps as well, so maybe there's a pick there to be presented for Simple. But again, the deep Molotovs deny him any room in case Serato's allowed to jump for free, even with a nade ready in case Simple moves in after. It's a little bit of damage, but Simple's not moving. The jump's still coming through. There's definitely a chance for Simple to, to get this opening kill. And that would be worth its weight in gold for Na'Vi. Orb gets thrown up. And now Art owns the apartment. Funnily enough, Simple's leaving, so it doesn't even matter. The Orb going elsewhere, trying a tan back at A. But you can see for Na'Vi, I mean, they're just really playing around this AWP, looking for kills. They're not they're not being all too proactive. Too many rounds have been decided from the get-go. They want to use a clock. Finally, Simple setting Palace with two other teammates and the bomb. This is a weird round to run on a full buy. Something that is scary, though, is when Art took that long angle, K Serato pushed in and probed the apartment. So they had the early information that Na'Vi had left B. There are four oh. players for Furia at this A side what? of the map. Simple doubling up, but Junior's still fighting, still a nuisance as Simple is destroying everybody else. They get past that A bomb site defense with four strong there for Furia. Simple just bursts the doors down. And Na'Vi locking that round with a late pinch from Boomich there just to really drive it home. I have no idea how Na'Vi win that round. It's a simple effect through and through, right? Like we don't even, we, we, we can't even compute a round like that. Fury have a double AWP on A. They have four players. They know it's about to come through. And then Boomich hits that amazing timing through connector, running through the smoke, killing the stairs player. And simple just firing shots left, right and center. My oh my, let's see that again. That's why you don't send him in first. You don't want him dead to the orbs. You want him trading the orbs. And yeah, it's exactly what he gets away with. Timeout now for Furia. But Na'Vi finally breaking the streak. The money is bleak. You could feel the pressure like building up, right? Like every one of these rounds, I feel like we're leading into it with some kind of pause, right? For these guys to try and figure out how to stem the bleeding. And at first it was Na'Vi feeling that pressure. Now it's Furia. They've bought in. They've thrown caution to the wind. Unsurprising. Orp on Junior, AK for Kesarato. Deagle on Art. And an MP9 for Vinny. What's the solution to this, right? They've tried to play it passive. And that's because Na'Vi are just playing this punishing style where if you try to go aggressive, they are going to be holding for you. And so winning that fight is not easy. It's not free. 
and there's no area of the map that isn't being watched. Junior, he takes it upon himself to try and be the difference maker in the opening of this round, pushing the lower tunnels and holding for oh, this no. swing. He doesn't get given a second chance by Electronic, who nails the opener. <gasps> and now Boomich spots more players pouring into these lower tunnels. Na'Vi know they've got another kill trapped here. And even though Art gets the first, he's pincered in. In middle, there's danger. In front of him, there's danger. And beneath him, there is fire. But somehow, he's still alive. Perfecto can't seem to find him. Oh, you need to get yourself out oh. of here. And he lands the tag. But it's not the kill. It's not enough. Vinny all alone has dispatched a flamey at least. But now they know where this last player resides. Yeah, you just want to avoid him here if you're Na'Vi. Why run closer to the fire? Why even give Vinny the chance? Especially with two low players. Mate, if Art hits that no-scope onto Perfecto and actually kills him, not just tag, that would have been terrifying. Na'Vi did everything they could to clear that AWP out from under, and it took them everything they had. Vinny, he's giving it a go. He's only running because why not? But deep down, even he knows that this is not a winnable round. Navi have had all the time in the world to set up in their post pawns. Perfecto is playing with a Glock. I, 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 yeah, he's found an AK. That's good. Don't know if he was looking for something. And Vinny. Oh, maybe some kills. Maybe something. Maybe Perfecto dead in the water. Better than nothing, hey? But he's got to move the bombs near him. Simple. We'll get there first. And it's a team ace for Na'Vi to get 14 on the board. Worth noting, Flamey killed Caserato, even pushing Palace out of spawn as well. So, Furia, that round was pretty screwed from the get-go. And the double orp under was not the solution. As close as it got. Yeah, it's such a shame, right? Last time Junior was feeling that pressure to be like the, the 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 pinch setter, the guy to set the entire game up, he was able to deliver on it, right? And it, it was him to kind of propel you back into it and tie this up at 12 to 12 in the first place. When he feels that same pressure there, he learns that up against guys like Electronic, there are no second chances. And so now just vanilla pistols for the most part for Furia. This is looking like 15, almost guaranteed for Na'Vi. Yeah, and they burn out Yuri as well, right? Furia giving away this round. They're aware of the consequences that come uh, th uh, thanks to the eco. And I've got to say, I'm really glad that Furia actually eco this round and didn't just you know, full send against 14. Definitely with a chance for OT here. Boomage, if he hears just one step from Vinny, he's going to drop in with the backstab. Flash to Con. Vinny rendered useless right now. Boomage should have this dead, and he does. Two pistols left up for Furia, but by and large, it's a flawless Na'Vi round. And that is good as well. If Na'Vi can just keep everyone alive and not give away any kills, any guns, but more importantly, make sure that they have their money into the next round, or well, they're going to have a bit more staying power up against Furia's attempt to get us into OT. Simple trying to wallbang above the cinder blocks. But no one's there for now. It's spawn and market crossfire for Furia, just looking for anything they can get. But even Simple knows it's not worth it. It is very relieving to have Simple looking so fired Ooh, up. Ooh, of. dinked by Junior. Oh, no. That kills him to the bomb. Do we count that for Junior? <laughs> I think we count that for Junior. That's a technical kill. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's just not really worth it, right? Like, Simple doesn't expect to die there. But... Uh, so hoping you can just get the orb kill. Not a worry, though. Na'Vi, still plenty of money, but, you know, it's, it's something like if Fury went back-to-back -back rounds and then someone like Simple has low money in the last, you're thinking about that kill. But you don't have time to. 15 to 12, and the timeout for Fury are coming to a close. Their last timeout, their last chance to stem the bleeding of the wounds that Na'Vi have inflicted upon them. And I tell you what, man, like for Art and Junior, this must feel kind of horrible. Like they're, they're doing a tremendous amount yeah. to try and keep this game going, you know, to try and keep Furia in it. They've both been good at finding openers, but in recent rounds, Na'Vi have been able to cancel them out. This is where we need guys like Keiserato, someone who is a phenomenal clutch player, a great anchor, a little bit more out of someone like him. You know, we already saw what he can offer when he denied that B play from Na'Vi. Oh. Junior just Ooh. hops over. Look at Hart. Oh, oh, 
Boomish. Spraying the smoke. And they might have seen his feet there. They seem aware that there was this short player. Art gets out of there, though. That's the thing. He's like an apparition. He'll appear in one place, disappear, and then crop up somewhere else where you don't expect him. You want more stuff like that. Furia, they're not sitting around waiting in bomb sites anymore. They are looking for openings across this map. And Yuri attempting to use this smoke to his advantage, trying to peek over the top of it. Just denied that peek onto Electronic. But Furia, they had to claw their way back into this game. Let's not forget, when they tied it up at 12 to 12, they were in the rhythm. They were building back up. They need to get back to that, or else Na'Vi are snatching away their map pick. And Boomich with the patience. While Art has speed, Boomich has patience on his side, and Art wins it out in the head-to-head. -head. So the clash of the IGLs goes down in top middle, and Art comes out ahead. Yeah, smoke on stairs, cut out Junior, simple, looking to fight him once again, but it's through the bench for Junior, receiving a flash to the face, won't make him move. Navi aren't in a rush, notice B for Perfecto, he's pushed in through the apartments, is he going to come in on this backstab when Navi commit to A, if Navi commit to A, because the bomb needs to rotate back out if that is the case, there's no time, 25, and now Perfecto's position, null and void as his simple with the bomb, it's dropped up in Palace, this is a done round, there's nothing Navi can do about it, they're going to try, they're going to guess, but they can't get back to Palace, and Electronic just has to hold on to his gun, ooh, that was an ugly round for Navi for sure. With everyone so split at the 22nd mark, every single player had to have success. Every single player had to win their fight. And while Na'Vi, they win none of them. Furia, um, one out of three. Once again, it's Junior to keep Furia in this game. He gets that kill onto Simple up in the apartment, or Palace rather, dropping the bomb, and Na'Vi run out of time. Yeah. That kill also marked him taking over Simple in the head-to-head -head ah. at six to five. You've been keeping track of that. I Harry. have been what keeping track. Out? What are the numbers at? Six to Junior, five for Simple. Including that bomb kill. Including the bomb kill. Okay. Well, we count it. 13 to 15, Furia, two more in a row. Why would you stop believing you've gotten this far? Na'Vi just need to edge themselves over the line. It's their opponent's map pick. But is it their time? Group towards B, simple holding top mid. Especially after Boomish died in the last round, right? Like patience. He, he looked like he was going to pay off. He was so ready. But then, oh, even with the shadow disadvantage, wins that battle out. And now Na'Vi don't want to lose a player on an island like that. So they just hold on passive to middle. Art brings the heat down under, and he only gets one. Electronic has been so good at trading this underpass control. Poor Perfecto, but you can't win them all. Sometimes sacrifices must be made, and that is... Brutal reality. Four on four. And Navi is still defaulting, still waiting to deny any aggression. But Furia, obviously, learning from their mistakes, have not gifted Navi much. Smoke throwing. This is to try and protect you for the short cross. Oh, Vinny's got dear. plain view up onto short. And even though Electronic is dumping these nades into the B bomb site, that is not where the bomb is heading. It's going down through the connector. Electronic in the lower tunnels as well, picking up the pace. There's 30 seconds. Na'Vi, it doesn't want to fall apart due to time again. Yuri has to make a stand. He's in with the first, and he reads the palace peak. A little bit of damage done in the spray, but it's simple to find the next. And with it, that bomb has been given safe passage to get into the site. Bomb now planted oh. just in the nick of time. Junior and Vinny, 2v2 versus Simple and Flamey. Simple not giving up this bomb site oh. yet. And so now it is just Junior looking desperately to flush these players out of the site. But time is not on his side. And as he walks out, he's so ready for Simple here. And Simple lands the shot to close it out for Na'Vi. 1-0 up in the series right now, but it was explosive. It was fast. It was anyone's. And Na'Vi take it, but there's still more to come.
dead. <laughs> what? Oh, Are you team? out of your minds? No. <laughs> oh my... Dude, I feel like I'm playing a cheater. What the hell is this? Play matchmaking. They missed their heaven smoke. <laughs> Uh, good job, this dude. God damn, is this guy again? He's a blue player. Thank God. The Thank first God. Round, the first round. Sorry, where are you going? I don't know. I don't look at my monitor now. I'm already looking. Ah. Okay. A flash over monster for you. Go. Wait. Flashing. Nice peak, sir. Good coming on the flash peak. I'm getting freaking proud of you. Aided my bombs. They're up short. Damn, I'm sick. Is this guy blue already? Oh, he's on the right. I think. Oh, shit. <laughs> dude! Oh my god, dude. He's embodying hard. Holy shit. <laughs> You can't aim, but if you can't see, dude, they're shooting me through smokes. Oh no! Oh my god! Hey, use a real gun, buddy. I use, use this in matches. Sure. But no, you're. So you're gonna die if you jump one more time. He's in bot. He's in hack mode. Oh, yeah. yeah, oh my god! Oh my god! You should have seen the shot. Oh, I have an idea. we go. Navi close it out at the end of the map, but Furia make it very competitive. It came down to an op-v-op -op here in several different occasions. And of course, on our occasion, we're going to have Get Right and we're going to have Yanko to talk all about this. Welcome back, everybody, to the Intel Extreme Masters Cat Events of 2021. We are getting so close to the playoffs. I can feel it, Yanko. Playoffs? Uh, I think uh, we, we hyped up this matchup a lot and for a reason, right? What an entertaining first game. Uh, we saw some simple highlight there at the end to close it to close out the game. And that was one of the main storylines. I hate like analyzing the game like this, uh, simple, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But he really 